A majority of Kenyans have cited the high cost of living as the biggest issue that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime needs to tackle. This is according to a new report released by Trends and Insights for Africa, TIFA, that focused on Kenyans' views on the achievements and failures in President William Ruto's administration. Rukia Bule has more. The latest research conducted by Trends and Insights for Africa, TIFA, has revealed that 71% of Kenyans believe that the cost of living remains the top most worrying issue of the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. The poll conducted between March 11 to 19, with just over 2,065 randomly selected respondents, showed that the top three failures of Ruto's government were increased economic hardship, which led by 37%. 14% of the respondents said failure to keep campaign promises, while 9% of Kenyans believed to have been increased in corruption, particularly the dropping of corruption cases. Hustler Fund, Jinue. However, the launch of the Hustler Fund was stated as the topmost achievement by President William Ruto's government. The identification of cost of living as the most uh, challenging problem facing people in the area where our respondents live was highest in South Rift, in Western, and in Coast. According to the report, nearly one in five Kenyans report that they always or often sleep hungry, while more than half say this is sometimes or rarely the case. 29% say this is never the case. The survey showed that more Azimio than Kenya Kwanzaa supporters were affected by this hunger. 20% of Azimio supporters say they always or often sleep hungry, while 14% of Kenya Kwanzaa supporters say the same. Conversely, 56% of Kenya Kwanzaa supporters say they never sleep hungry, compared to 44% of Azimio supporters. Even somebody who's just arrived from the moon or somewhere can understand why so much of this debate is about the economy. Interior Cabinet Secretary Kidure Kindiki was ranked as the best performing member of President William Ruto's cabinet according to the poll conducted by TIFA. The respondents believe that C.S. Kindiki has improved the state of security in the country and reduced the crime of banditry. Runners-up best performing C.S. was Education Cabinet Secretary Zakil Mashogu, who had 10% and was believed to have actualized the implementation of CBC. The report noted that it has become increasingly clear to most Kenyans that making quick and tangible improvements to the dire economic situation inherited from the previous regime has not been as forthcoming as many had thought or at least hoped so. Rukia, Bole, and TV.